Time now for your forewarn weather with Thomas Keyboy. And if you were thinking about going to see the eclipse, I would recommend it. I saw the last one. I was sitting in Nashville, saw the totality. Absolutely incredible. We see the daylight turned completely to black was fascinating to say the least. But let's talk about something else that's fascinating, our snowpack. Because as we've gone throughout the last month or so, we've really added a bunch of water to our snowpack. We're now sitting at 118% of median across the state with all of our major basins reporting 100% or more. So that is definitely a good sign. And when it comes to our snow water equivalent, we're actually getting fairly close to the median peak snow water equivalent and the snow water equivalent is just simply how much water you have in the snowpack if you were to melt everything down. We're sitting at 13.8 inches when the median peak is around 16 inches and that typically occurs in April. So we still have over a month to go to get to that point. And as we move into next week, we're going to add more snow to the equation. We're just going to settle into a calmer stretch of weather as we round out this week and move through this weekend, resulting in some bluebird days. The view from Alta looking absolutely incredible. As you can actually see a few folks going down the run right there, the view from Sugarloaf doesn't get much better than that. You can also see the snow covered pine valleys in the distance from St. George as our temperatures are slowly warming in our northernmost portions of the state. 28 still in Logan, 26 in Park City, but Provo, Price, St. George sitting with temperatures in the 40s and in the low 50s. As we move through this afternoon, daytime highs will come in close to where they should be for this time of year. We'll mainly see a mix of 40s and 50s with a few exceptions. There will be a few spots in the high country that see daytime highs in the 30s, while on the other side of the coin, St. George will see a daytime high of 64. Then tonight, overnight lows will be pretty close to what we saw out there first thing this morning. Getting to 50 degrees in Salt Lake City, dropping to 32 tonight. And you might notice these daytime highs will just be a little bit warmer compared to what we saw yesterday. In central and southern Utah, a good mix of 40s and 50s. And we'll also see 40s and 50s down south with St. George leading the way at 64. We'll get to 55 in Hanksville and a daytime high of 44 degrees in Torrey. And across the state, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Not a bad day to take your dog for a walk or for a car ride. This is Dot right here, and isn't she precious? Ready to go for that ride as temperatures will be hanging out in the mid to upper 40s through most of the afternoon along the Wasatch Front before we start to turn chilly tonight under mostly clear skies. High pressures keeping our weather on the quiet side of things. That will continue to be the case through the weekend, and with more of a southwesterly flow each day will be a little bit warmer than the last. I'm thinking by Sunday we could be close to 60 degrees in Salt Lake City and maybe in the upper 60s down in St. George, but as quickly as we get those warmer temperatures giving us that feeling of spring, we'll see a storm system come in from the northwest by early next week, and that'll bring a big drop in temperatures and likely a good amount of snow to the mountains, and there is going to be at least the chance with this storm with the cooler air moving in that we could maybe see some snow down to our valleys. We'll just have to work out the finer details as we get a little bit closer. And St. George will be in the middle 60s as we move into the weekend, potentially upper 60s by the end of the weekend under partly cloudy skies. Then we bring in that chance for rain Monday and Tuesday with highs going back down to the 50s, all to return to the low 60s by next Thursday. Along the Wasatch front, daytime highs a little bit warmer each day through the weekend under a mix of sun and clouds. Chilly overnight lows continue. Then on Monday, a chance of scattered rain and snow with potentially straight snow on on Tuesday before we start to warm things up by the second half of next week. Jillian? I'm excited for that heat up. Thank you, Thomas.